Hello, everyone. Today we'll talk about Jing Ye Si, which is by Li Bai. This poem could be the most popular poem among Tang Dynasty, or even among classic Chinese poetry. It very likely to be the first poem for a kid or foreigner to learn Chinese poetry. The other one we had that, which is Yong Er by Luo Bin Wang. Jing Ye Si, Li Bai. 床前明月光，疑是地上霜。举头望明月，低头思故乡。静也思 ，a very simple poem. This could be the main rhythm. It becomes the first. Poem for kid or for foreigner to learn. 床前明月光 So the moonlight is in front of the fence of the well. 疑是地上霜 So I doubt it could be the frost on the ground. 举头望明月 So I look up to the moon. The moon could be very likely a full moon, and、uh, we have another poem about moon. The moon has a very significant meanings for Chinese. 低头思故乡 So I bend down my head and thinking about my hometown. So the full moon and the hometown is the. Most likely to be associated by a typical Chinese. The poem is a simple poem by its words, and also by the situation it described. The first two sentences describe the situation where it takes place, and、uh, the moonlight is taken as the frost on the ground. The last two sentences is describing the poet Li Bai himself. So this situation made him homesick. There's a little argument here about Chuang Qian. So what is Chuang? So when I was a kid, the tip, the image in my head is the Chuang as today. So the Li Bai is laying on. The bed and looking to the ground, where the moonlight goes through the windows and shadow the grounds, and Li Bai take the moonlight as a frost on the ground. And、uh, very recently, a scholar pointed out the the Chuang. It's not the Chuang today because in the Tang Dynasty the Chuang is a little different. It's Hu Chuang, and it's not the Chuang as today. The second thing is, it's not reasonable because the window in the Tang Dynasty is by papers. The moonlight cannot go through the papers. Even you open the window, when you open up a window in Tang Dynasty, you push at the bottom side. So it opens up a little space downward. The moonlight can never go through this、uh, space at the downside of the window. So it must be a outdoor situation. Chuang could be explained as the fence of a well. The well is very popular. It's everywhere in a big house. Somewhere in the village, somewhere in the town, somewhere in the capital, in the big cities. So, a Chinese is quite easily to have the same situ- situation. He look at the fence of the well, the full moon, and when he happened to read this poem by Li Bai, it's quite easily to get the same feeling as Li Bai. 
It's believed this poem was written in the year 726, one year after Li Bai left his hometown Sichuan. He wrote this poem in the city of Yangzhou, in the southeast China, along the Yangtze River, a big, prosperous commercial city like Shanghai, Guangzhou today. And this is the first time Li Bai left his hometown in the age of 26. It's not like the most Li Bai's poems about grand, big, strong, ambitious. It's a little homesick. It's a simple. It's a sensitive poem. Let's have it again. 静夜思，李白。床前明月光，疑是地上霜。举头望明月，低头思故乡。Thanks. Enjoy.